Good morning. So it's like almost 10 a.m. and I have to be at work at 11. And then I leave in like three minutes. I didn't even eat or do breakfast, so that's great. Today we are doing a video on Jackie Imes and Too Faced collaboration. Collaboration, and I'm just gonna do this real quick because your girl got to go. So she came out with Nine Shades with Too Faced, and personally, I never really wasn't interested in Too Faced until I watched Jackie Imes' videos. So this is the Too Faced Primed and Peachy Cooling Matte Skin Perfecting Primer. I do like this primer, and I am going to work for a few hours today, so hopefully this foundation holds. So, um, why I'm doing this so late? So, uh, what had happened was, I didn't feel like ordering the foundation online. This is what it looks, by the way, which you most likely know by now. I don't know where this came from. Probably the sink. Um, I tried it out in person already, and I already knew my shade, which is Spiced Rum. I had to order online anyway because I went to Macy's when I went to New York last week and um, you know. <laughs> oh, comes on immediately. And um, they didn't have it there because it was sold out so I had to order it online and ship it to my house and I got it yesterday. So I'm going to do a three day test because I'm going to do one the Too Faced primer that I just got recently so I'm still testing it out and then I'm going to do it with my usual primer which is the benefit. And then on the third day, I'm going to do it with the, um, a set of primer. Um, in my videos, I do half with a beauty blender, half with a sponge. What? Half with a beauty blender and half with a, what's it called? Brush. For foundation shades references, I am MAC NW50 and Infantium 440 and NYX Total Control Drop Foundation. I'm Mocha and Maybelline Fit Me, I'm also Mocha. I do kind of have like, um, also by the way, I do kind of have like a feel of the foundation because I tested out two foundations on my face that day when I went to Macy's. This one in the NARS Radiant Creamy Foundation and they both lasted pretty good. And they both looked really nice, but this one's like a real test for me, so <laughs> I'm definitely trying to see. This is supposed to be a medium to full coverage foundation. And I see it. <laughs> it's not that bad. Like, if you're new to my channel, I personally never find a foundation full coverage. I usually find it, like, medium for me in general, so. Even, like, if it claims to be a full coverage foundation, I never find it neat, full. So, yeah, I'm really proud of Jackie and Ina doing this collaboration with Too Faced. I'm proud of Too Faced. Or asking a person to actually help them with their foundation shades and then NYX did it recently with a new foundation that's coming out and NYX and I don't really have a great relationship <laughs> when it comes to when it comes to complexion so it's gonna be interesting so this is the finish so far looks very natural like my skin's excuse the bump um, I didn't even put on chapstick <laughs> so I'm gonna do the rest of my face off camera and I will be right back. This is the finish of the foundation. So, um, let me drop my glasses. Your girl's Russian. <laughs> um, terrible wing. Terrible, terrible, terrible wing. This is what it looks like up close and I'm gonna have to say it. This is like, sorry if my camera's shaky. I noticed that it does that when I'm, I'm holding it with my hand. I don't know why. Um, <laughs> I noticed that this is like the most perfect matching foundation for me. So, 20 more seconds. And it's great. <laughs> so, I'm going to just do a real test. And if you don't know my um, routine, I did try a new concealer today, NARS. And I baked it with my usual Beauty Bakery powder. Set my face with MAC Studio Fix Press powder. Eyebrows, all that stuff. So, you know, let me show you the time. <laughs> I finished like 10 minutes ago. So, it's 10 18. I had to leave this house by 10.30. And so, <laughs> this is the first day. I'm going to be more in depth when I get home from work about the foundation and everything. So, I'll show you what it looks like after like four and a half, five hours of wear. I'm back. <laughs> so, uh, it is now... Let me close this. 3.50. <laughs> and um, I don't look too bad, regardless. Because, like, it is, like, <laughs> where I was... 
it's like pretty much a controlled environment and so like it is raining outside today and so if you hear a pitter patter pitter patter because i use my window that's why but um lock my face on camera like i normally do but i'm not really that bad <laughs> i'm really not that oily like, i didn't get caught up in the rain so i'm really not that bad it's mainly in my t-zone where the concealer is not really everywhere else because everywhere else has like a healthy glow to it so yeah but this is all the creasing I get <laughs> um my glasses doing kind of but it's not that noticeable it's fine I'm wear glasses for the rest of the day <laughs> anyway cracking here 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 in my normal areas um you can still see my natural contour lines <laughs> I did on bronzer and highlight and blush but um yeah I'm not too oily like my napkin my tissue says otherwise <laughs> but um I'm not too oily so um how many hours was that so that's like a good five hours almost six hours and so, I'm just going to tell you more info about me. So, I have oily combination skin. I'm an oily girl. In the dry time, when I get drier, is mainly in the winter, of course. Um, <laughs> I don't really know anything about Too Faced products. Um, well, I kind of know them. I just really, I just really want the Too Faced Peach Palette. Luckily, that was on sale this week, so I got it. <laughs> and, um, never try their better than, than Sex Mascara. Uh, <laughs> You know, everything, this is my first time using, like, Too Faced complexion product. And Jackie really did make a good shade for me. Because, like, I personally match with my chest. And I was at work. And <laughs> pretty much matches because my neck is dark. And so, like, matching it with my chest is pretty good. So, I'm going to see how this goes. I'm kind of banging using the Too Faced primer tomorrow. Because I will be using that once my benefit primer runs out. But. But. <laughs> I do want to see how this works with different primers. And I only use two now. So. So I'm going to try out the benefit primer. And the day after that I'm going to try with the benefit primer. And a scented primer. Because those are my other two normal routines. I just started using the Too Faced one. So. You know. Just going just gonna, to just let you know. <laughs> So, it is now 9.04pm, <laughs> I'm ready to take off my makeup. I blot my face like two times after that, but really after blotting, you don't really have to do anything. So, tomorrow's going to be my next test day, so I will see you in the next clip. There isn't really much for me to say for today. So, we're going to see how it goes with my other stuff tomorrow. <laughs> day two. I'm still working with the, oh, it's not in here with me, the Juvia's Place palette because I'm not in my room because I don't know how to work shades, so that was great. I'll be using my usual the Benefit Poreless Face Primer today. I'm just going to show y'all because I know sometimes people are like, if we don't see it, then you didn't really do it, so I'm just going to do that. Y'all just think I'm going to appreciate all this fallout. <laughs> that beautiful fallout. I'm happy I decided to do my eyes first because I didn't know what I was doing. So, I noticed with the foundation that I like to use a sponge more than a brush. And also, fun facts, lately I like doing reviews on this channel and then like tutorials on my Instagram because you get, you get to see my personality more when I do reviews. Because when I'm doing tutorials, I'm kind of like one, two, three reviews. You see my reaction and everything, so... I don't know if I'm going to continue on doing like a lot of tutorials on this channel. I don't know. Maybe on my free time, like when I'm at school. Because I'm at school. <laughs> but um, for now, I'm going to do reviews when I can. Look how like beautiful this flaw like seems into my skin though. Like... I'm wearing a romper just to wear a romper, but I'm like, you know, this is this is pretty cute. She cute. <laughs> and it matches my skin tone. I just prefer to have extra coverage around my mouth. <laughs> Randomly, I have like a bump right here, so that's great. But I like more coverage around my mouth because I've noticed 
it's not really that great around my mouth. And I'm really particular about my skin. So I'm trying to figure out how that happened. So <laughs> just going to add a little bit more right here. So you can see this is like your skin but better type of foundation. You can still see, you know, my hyperpigmentation. Is that a bump coming up? Oh, my Lord. <laughs> and, um, yeah, God, do I need to get my hair redone. Thank God I am. I'm going to do, like, the rest of my face makeup on camera for you guys just because. Also, everything for the three days, if I remember, will be listed down below. Oh, this NYX concealer, right? This, this, this stupid thing. <laughs> Ever since I got it, it's been like this. So this is nothing new. I just gotta like hold on to the cap like harder now. It's like, like take it out, which annoys me. I only care for this concealer personally. This is another thing about me. When people tell me something's good, I like keep it to like very high expectations. And since I, my expectations are high, they're high as hell. And so, I don't think it's really great for people to tell me something's really good because I'm expected to be the most best thing in the world. <laughs> and then, like, you know, that's why I don't mind watching reviews until um, I do it if I decide to do a review on the product because I know I'm going to have my opinion. And my opinion might be different from others, and that's fine. Because <laughs> it's my opinion. Because, like, everybody loves the NYX HD concealer. They, can, they compared it to the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. And I like that concealer. I'm just like trying to like open my eyes for more concealer. And then Kat Von D concealer is like okay to me lately. But um, I don't like the NYX HD concealer. And they said the NYX micro brow pencil was like the dupe of the Anastasia brow pencil. Brow is? No, it's not. <laughs> I use the LA girl some. And I like that way more than NYX. And it's like really cheap too, so I'm like, maybe I'm about to buy it more, but I'm still trying to like widen my arrays when I finish things. And if you're like from my ColourPop video, I can tell you the difference real quick about the two finishes of the foundation. So the ColourPop, oh yeah, by the way, the LA Girl pencil I use is the LA Girl Shady Slim Brow Pencil. And I use it in blackest brown. And the ColourPop foundation right it's not that bad I do actually like it but I only plan for using that in the winter because it doesn't really stay matte as as long as I want it to stay matte um I don't mind looking like a little bit radiant or dewy however <laughs> like if you saw in the video I got oily I got oily it's like the oil slick hit my face and so this doesn't really make an oil slick hit your face because like once you the difference is with the two face is that once you like once I blot it it looks fine, but with the color pop, you, 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 you still feel like you need to like depress powder. And I bought enough makeup, <laughs> okay? So this is my birthday month, I bought enough. So to the point that I need a new makeup case cause it won't fit. <laughs> um, but um, I don't think so. Like, I like it. I feel like people with drier skin will like it more because it didn't hold on to my dry patch which is usually on my nose for all year long like it, it never moves and I think people with like drier skin will like it oily skin is like kind of like 50 50 because I kept on hearing for like the Too Faced this one that like with oily skin people like 50 50 about it I like it like I think it lasts a pretty good long time and it's like a foundation that I'm comfortable with wearing and so I use three colors. I feel like people think I do complicated looks when they don't know me. When in reality, I don't like cleaning a lot of stuff, like a lot of brushes. And so I just usually use like three colors and call it a day. So this is what I use. Juvia's Place Zulu palette, of course. And, and I used this blue first and I put the yellow on top. And then I first put only the green on my lid, but then I decided to put this sparkly blue on the lid. And there you go. <laughs> um... I tried to see if this purple will work, but it just may look a little bit muddy. So I put more blue and yellow on for the lower lash line. Also, for the inner corner of my eye, I used the Revlon Colorstay Cream Eyeshadow in Silver. This bad boy. 
just a little bit um i really wish i bought this like green dark green greenish teal I don't know. this eyeliner that i was looking at lately that i didn't buy because i'm like i don't need it right now now i need it <laughs> so i am putting eyeliner in my waterline but i feel like i'm gonna put my mark jacobs black one on just to put it on just to be like my eyes are big and bold and beautiful and luscious so we're just gonna we're just gonna do that real quick and then my other mascaras what is that oh a groundhog look at him <laughs> so i'm just like okay no seriously there's a groundhog in my backyard usually it's just deer or whatever but there's a groundhog skadoot doing down, <laughs> down my backyard and i love it i hope it's in the video it's great and um <laughs> i love animals like i want to be a veterinarian and everything but shy doesn't like mad look at his little butt <laughs> my this is beautiful <laughs> um Everybody makes mistakes. Everybody has those days. Hannah Montana. And um, uh, right now it is 2.56. So I'm going to try to come back like around 10 p.m. And let y'all know how to hold up today with this primer that I usually use every day. So I'm just going to let y'all know about that. And I'll be there in the next clip. Finish this and come back down. Hi. So it's like, oh crap, left my dad's iPad downstairs, but I'm not going back down there because my mom's going to kill me. Um, it is now like, oh, like around 1030 right now, and I bought my face twice today, and I should do this more often. Uh, <laughs> it doesn't look too bad. I'm not wearing a bra, so I'm just going to go back over here. Um, <laughs> doesn't look too bad. Um, I only blow my face twice, so I would say. <coughs> I would say, I would say I prefer this a little bit more, but tomorrow is my final test and I'm going to collect all my final thoughts. I'm going to collect all my final thoughts tomorrow and I will see you in my next clip. Also, like this is my like around eighth hour, and honestly, I don't feel like I really need to blot. Like I look like I'm getting a little oily, but not like oils like oily. So it looks pretty good. Um, my eyeshadow looks not that bad. Like a little close up of my skin, <laughs> and um, God, does that look terrible? But um, this one doesn't look too bad. So yeah, I'll definitely be back tomorrow and give you my final thoughts by the end of the day. So it's the third day. I'm getting the front of my hair rebraided, and um, my person came a little bit late, which was understandable for the reason. I'm just gonna do my makeup as quickly as possible <laughs> before she redoes the front of my hair, and I go on my errands for the rest of the day. So I'm gonna set it with the I'm gonna set the primer with the Laura Mercier Medium Deep Powder. And also, shout out to my friend Deandra for giving me this hashtag adulting shirt. Because if you don't, if you're good friends, then you don't always say hashtag adulting for pretty much anything that's like relatively like good to do. <laughs> okay. So I did my makeup as fast as possible. And and so the time is 1.40 p.m. I'm kind of late, but it's okay because I'm usually ending around the same time as I noticed that. And so one thing though, I tried a new mascara and it's by It Cosmetics and I personally don't like It Cosmetics because they're not really to me inclusive and they're kind of stupid to me. <laughs> and But it was this month, this month's ultra free gift for your birthday. And so I tried it. It's a superhero and a little bit goes along way i'm gonna look out for smudging because i know stuff for like expensive mascaras they go for like smudging so i'm gonna be back around like 10 40 11 and i'll see you in the next clip i'm back so i really i just remembered no i just realized that my color pop foundation video i ended on my bed and i'm back on my bed because it's not 10 40 your girl's ready to take off her makeup because <laughs> i don't wear makeup for that long if i do it wasn't my choice fun fact 
8.52. I have a pretty good feel of everything. So I blotted my face, <sighs> like one or two times. I'm beginning to come to the moment where I should blot my face again. But I'm about to take this off. Um. Oh yeah, update on the It Cosmetics mascara. It's good. I don't like the brand, but I give credit when it's due, so it's good. My eyelashes look booming. Let's do a close up. Looks a lot better with like a setted primer. And not as much creasing going on in. I'm not crazy because like in the other close ups of my other videos, like that was just my texture of skin, texture of my skin after like six and a half hours. It retails for $39. Um, these are the gradients of the shades. I'm on their website right now. Four and a half stars. And I'm gonna give it like out of five a four. Like it's not that bad. I actually do like this. It's pretty good. Um, first day with a two face primer, it wasn't that bad. I blot my face like three, four times that day. Yesterday with just my benefit primer, it looked it worked better in my opinion. And I only blot my face like two, three times at most that day. Today I no, I bought it at least once, but I don't know if I bought it again ever since then, honestly. Um, <laughs> and the thing is with today, I got the front of my hair redone because I'm going to curl fast and I have to, I hope I remember to vlog that for you guys. I was outside in the heat. I was wearing my glasses and like you could tell I was wearing my glasses with slight crevices over here. I was outside in the heat. I was over a stove with like, you know, with the seal your braids, you got to put it over hot water. This is the front of my head. I I, I felt the heat <laughs> coming up in my face. Um, entering a hot car every time I went to an errand. So, you know, I was out in the heat today and it still held it. Not that bad. I'm the shade Spiced Rum and I counted that there are six shades after me, which is beautiful. Like, I'm only 21 and, <laughs> and I get, yeah, I still remember the days when I didn't even have a shade or anything like close to my shade foundations besides like mac and lancome so this is great and so um brands are doing better but some brands aren't doing what they need to because they'll be like oh yeah just put in 40 shades but they don't realize that um we all got different undertones <laughs> like my mom like, i understand why i got my undertone because my mom's yellow but red at the same time and, and that, that's me like i just i'm just more rosy and she's just like yellow red <laughs> and then my dad's just there and then we all don't have just yellow undertones we all don't just have red undertones it's the same thing with fair people light people medium people medium darks people deep dark you know we all got different undertones okay so it is what it is me and the full undetectable coverage. I don't know what undetectable coverage means, honestly. So I'm just gonna skip that. Um, oil free was great. It has coconut water. Oh, that's why I feel hydrated. <laughs> In hydroconic acid, which if you don't know Jackiana, she loves that. Um, so that's probably why it's her favorite. Besides the fact that she worked with it, coconut water to replenish skin's moisture levels without overhydrating. Infused with resilient alpine rose to brighten the skin's appearance and promote elasticity, which is true. <laughs> like, as I'm thinking about, like, which is true, it does finish, it does do what it claims to do. I do have a more youthful appearance when I put this one on, like, when I first put it on, like, yeah. <laughs> um, I recommend it for people. You don't have to buy this foundation. It's my first time showing like a Too Faced like complexion product in general. I'm gonna do a video of like trying out new products because I buy a lot of stuff. And <laughs> I have like the Too Faced Peach Matte Palette and going on in there and I'm doing that. I'm just happy that Too Faced like reached out for someone to help them look for a foundation and so did NYX with Alyssa. So that's beautiful. I think this will be great for dry your skin. Cause it didn't cling to my dry patch on my nose. Pride, I swatched the Born This Way concealer. I didn't buy it because my number one goal right now is to finish like most of the concealers I got. And I got two new concealers from NARS, so I don't really need anything concealer wise. But um, it felt really creamy and rich, which is nice. And it came out with like, what, 30 shades? Like, <laughs> I did like 30 shades, I believe, but um, yeah, I'm really happy. And I looked at the darkest shade when I was at Ulta yesterday buying, like, another new item, of course. And uh, it was just so beautiful. <laughs> like, I always swatch the darkest shade to be like, oh, this is so rich. Just so nice. 
you know, like I just love it. So like, yeah, so I reckon I recommend it. I think it'll be great for all year, not just summer. Um, ColourPop, I kind of pick for like winter for me personally. So that's like my comparison between the two because I just did ColourPop. <laughs> so um, I don't know if I'm going to do the NYX foundation because I own enough foundations at the moment. <laughs> um, the only foundation that I know I really want is the NARS Radiant Long Layer foundation because it was really nice when I tried it at um, Macy's also don't know about NYX I do like it I'm sorry that I'm like really chill right now because I have to clear up my room and I'm like slowly getting to it but yeah <laughs> um I do recommend it it's a really nice foundation I prefer to use a sponge personally I don't really like using a brush it's just my preference it depends on everyone's preference honestly it is my yeah, my takes on it. I'm sorry that I'm, like, really chill in my childish looking room because I haven't decorated since, like, freshman year of high school. So, the, the, the Laura Mercier Medium Deep Translucent Powder, Loose Translucent Powder, has more yellow undertones. My shade has more rosy undertones, and so it kind of looks gray in certain areas, but not too noticeable, so it's fine. <laughs> It's pretty, it's kind of, it's pretty good. So there's, there's my, um, I have like a nice healthy gl glisten going on right now, but I'm going to take off my makeup and hopefully I see you in my next, uh, my next video. So hopefully it's curl fast. So deuces. <laughs>